sheer number or output doesn't necessarily tell you everything or even the most important thing you need to know about the impact of a particular legislative session. Mark Brewer is the acting chair of the Department of Political Science at the University of Maine in Orno. He reflected on the takeaways on the work from the governor and legislature over the past six months as they have taken on many highly debated topics. Looking at this from a you know, a nonpartisan perspective, I would say um, Mainers should be relatively happy with how their government has functioned. Uh, you, you want a government that addresses the important issues, even if you only want them to do nothing on it, you want it to be debated and discussed. And I think for the most part, um, the legislature and the governor have done that this session. The goal was for the session to be concluded by the third week in June. But as Brewer highlights, policymaking is rarely smooth. When you sit back and look at the session as a whole to this point, I think what sticks out to me the most is that maybe it's been a little more conflictual than normal. Partisan and institutional conflict is natural, but Brewer says some of the conflict from this latest session has not been quite as normal given the inter-party conflict between the chambers. I, I think the, the primary source of that conflict is that um, Speaker Talbot Ross rep tends to represent or come from a part of the Democratic Party that's on the more progressive or liberal side, and Governor Mills represents maybe a more moderate wing of the Democratic Party. And despite Governor Mills being unable to run for a third term, Brewer says the work that Mills and the legislature have done will play out in the next round of elections. Her record and her policies, as well as the legislative performance, will be in that agenda. So I'm sure nobody wants to look to elections right now, but they're going to be on us uh, before we know it. And what's happening now will be fodder for debate during that election season. In Orno, Grace Blanchard, ABC7 and Fox 22 News.